This is our worship service number 201. August the 2nd, 2020, from Odessa, Texas, we want to say hello and welcome to our viewers. Thank you so much for joining us today and worshiping the Lord and learning more about Him. We want to invite you to go to our website, vchurch.us, look for the tab bulletins and download the bulletin of today. If you are watching through a TV, a smart TV, and have another device with you, just use your camera and point toward the QR code and you will have access to the bulletin as well. The mind of Jesus Christ. We start this study by reading the scripture in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Who knows the mind of the Lord? Romans 1.34a and 1 Corinthians 2.16. Who knows the mind of the Lord? Is that a question or what? Who can really say, I know the mind of the Lord? Who can? It is impossible. But we know certain things about the Lord. And one of the attributes of the mind of the Lord is His creativity. Isn't it true? His creativity. He is amazingly creative. And I love that about the Lord God. His creativity. The mind of the Lord God and His creativity works initially with one idea. Please say with me the word idea. Idea. Many people very quickly disregard ideas that receive from God. Are you one of those? Great ideas. Ideas that have to do with your own life, inventions, discoveries, business. Many ideas can come to you. You need to be aware that the creativity of God starts with one idea. One idea. But that idea is something that it has to have a function. What, whatever the idea the Lord is preparing and is, is, now, is preparing, preparing to, to release into existence, into the universe, He always includes a function of that idea. And of course, which are the attributes of that idea? You know, when you think about the creativity of God and all the great things that He has done, it's just amazing. Think of thinking about nature, animals, vegetables, everything. It started with one idea, developed to what are the functions that this idea will have? What are the attributes? And of course, is this thing going to grow or is it going to be static, stagnant? You know, with the Lord, everything develops. There is a development. And finally, of course, we need to consider what are the components of that idea. When you are thinking of the creativity of God and you see these five factors, and you take these five factors into consideration of whatever you do or you can do, trust me, your life is going to be transformed. Everything starts with one idea. What are, what are those ideas the Lord is giving you? What is the function of that idea? What are the attributes? Is going to grow? How is going to evolve? Which are the components? All that is part of the creativity of God. When the Lord is creating something, He uses all those things that I just mentioned. And one of the things and tools that we can comprehend that are very useful when you are creating something is to have diagrams, designs, flow charts, anything that will be visual to you. We live in an era where we can design things now digitally very, very easily, very easily. Pencils and certain devices. You know, the time where we were printing stuff was really important, but now you are talking about 3D printing. That's amazing. People are designing things, and then in a matter of minutes, they have this 
it's an object. It's, it's just amazing in 3D. Creativity is limitless for anyone who wants to go in that direction. But you have to utilize the tools that are available. Because the Lord does that. And of course, we know we, we do some tests of our ideas. And of course, we need feedback. What do you think about this? All those things, friends, is part of the creativity of God. The creativity that works in the mind of our Lord God. And you have to see it. The Lord God, the creator of heaven and earth. Now, as a creator of whatever he creates, he knows that everything will require maintenance. Everything that has been created requires maintenance. And everything will require eventually repairs. And everything eventually will be upgraded. When you are talking about work, and this is one of the things that I'd like to bring up to you and to your attention today. We are living days with high competition in many areas. And you probably think, well, that is awesome. I like the idea of creativity, but I have zero creativity. You know, God didn't make me that way. Well, it's possible. Not, it's not for everybody. Not everybody can sing, you know, professionally. Not everybody can play baseball professionally. We understand that. You don't need to be necessary part of the creative process of anything. But I want you to see these other three areas. Anything and everything requires maintenance, repairs, and upgrades. So when, when you are thinking of what is in the market that will be needed, public, the public needs services and products, products that are being created by somebody, but products that need maintenance, repairs, and upgrades. Who do you think is going to be the person that knows much better than the rest about the maintenance, repairs, or upgrades of whatever thing is? The creator. Because the one that is creating this thing that it started with one idea and then it started to think about the functions, the attributes, the development, and the components, the creator immediately figured out, figures out, okay, so if this is going to fail, I need to prevent with some maintenance here. And the repairs must be there in this way. And with the pass of the time, the person says, I need to upgrade this. I hope you're understanding. The mind of the Lord Jesus Christ is a high, highly oriented towards creativity. It's what he has done forever. Creating, 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 creating. And he's still creating because the whole universe is still expanding. So we need to see his mind, try to understand how he works because he's telling us something. He's giving us a message here. But if you think I'm not that creative, you know, creativity is not my area, fine. But remember there are other three aspects of everything that you can be part of it. Because if you are not part of that, you will be out of work. Meaning zero income. So you need to be involved in the whole process of, thing, of things. If not as a creator, well, learn how to do the maintenance of certain things or repair things or do the upgrade of certain things. I hope you understand. The mind of the Lord God. He has the ability to bring an idea into existence due to his power. Because he has so much power, he can bring that idea into existence, right? When he created the heaven and earth, when he created the planets, the galaxies, when he created humans, he has that ability to create because of his power. I decided to reach out to some of my friends and I asked them, what is your favorite thing about the mind of the Lord God? Do you want to hear some of those? Well, this is beautiful. Let's just start with... What Tony McDaniel said, she said, 
He takes my burdens and brings peace into my storms. Donna Pounds, she said, he truly lived from his heart. He was a true servant. The Lord Jesus, right? Our brother Mike Turkey, Mike Pafrot, he says, if we are Christ likeness, we shall surely prosper. Interesting, huh? Lori Duran, she said, his forgiving heart, he only wants what is best for us and lets us make the decision. Al Serrano, he said, he thinks like a chess master, many moves ahead. Gabriel Ruiz, he says, his love is endless and all encompassing. Encompassing. Mike Riley, he says, his righteousness, he gives you strength. Penny Wilkerson, she said, I picture God looking like Father Time. And while I have no idea how he can keep track of each one and every one of us, he's always, always listening, watching, and helping us. Amen. Wendy and Ronnie, this is what they say. How he connects with me on an everyday basis. I hear and see him everywhere. His guidance, love, patience, grace, strength are given to me just when I need them. Whenever I feel alone, I am reminded I am not. In that moment, I realized it was him. He did that for me. Beautiful. Frances Boyles, she says, Forgiveness and love are the essence of God. Therefore, the mind of God can only be referenced in an unconditional love and forgiveness. We as human beings can only comprehend, with the help of the Holy Spirit, part of the mind of God. And on this side of heaven, we can only catch a glimpse of God's mind. Beautiful thoughts, beautiful comments. I thank you, everyone, for your support. Next Sunday, in August 9th, in the service 202, I'm going to be talking to you about techie people. Because we are talking about creativity, right? Well, technology today is very important, and we will talk about it, how you can use it to be prosperous and important in society. The mind of the Lord... He has the ability to bring an idea into existence due to his power. That's why he is amazing. The Lord God is the supreme intelligence, friends. Nobody else can be as smart as the Lord is. Nobody can be as intelligent as the Lord is. He is the supreme intelligence. When you think about the galaxies, when you think about the ocean, mountains, seeds, babies, everything. The supreme intelligence of the Lord God. The Lord God is undefeated. In any and every area, nobody has ever, never defeated the Lord. No argument, much less a direct fight. The Lord God is undefeated. The Lord God is God Almighty. He is amazing. He has the power for everything. His intelligence and His power. The Lord God is the King of the universe. The King of the universe. We all bow down before Him. We all surrender before the presence of the Lord. He is amazing. The supreme intelligence. Nobody like him. Undefeated. Amazing. Smart. Almighty. The king of the universe. That's the one God that we worship here. That is the Lord that we adore. That is the God that we believe in. That is our savior. 
our Lord God Almighty, our Redeemer, the one that is there all the time available for us to come to Him. You have to see that. He is the King of the universe and He's willing to, sh to share with you part of His creativity, part of His intelligence. If you want to, it's up to you. But who knows the mind of the Lord? We know some part of the attributes of his mind, like his creativity. If you invest time reading his word, if you invest time developing that relationship with the Lord, you will discover fascinating things about him. And he will reveal to you wonderful mysteries, secrets, things that you can imagine do you realize that the mind of the Lord God produces life harmony equilibrium and growth the mind of the Lord God produces all those things he produces life in all ways in the animal kingdom in the mineral kingdom, in the nature, outside of the, this planet. The Lord is producing life, but you know what? That life comes in harmony. It keeps everything in perfect equilibrium. And everything continues growing. That's the mind of the Lord. Basically, he doesn't stop thinking. He doesn't stop creating. That's why he is so amazing. It's not just that he is compassionate and merciful. We have to see how smart the Lord is, how wonderful his intelligence is, intelligence is, and adore him for that as well. Because while he produces all that, you know what is the most amazing thing to me? Is that he wraps everything everything with love he produces life and he produces life wrapped with love he produces life to be in harmony wrapped in love he produces life in harmony to keep equilibrium but in love and everything keeps growing but wrapped in love it's amazing he is amazing what a wonderful God we have. He is our true Father. And He is the one who is just so interested in developing a better relationship with you. Let me ask you, what about you? Do you generate ideas? Do you like to think? Do you create or make things? Do you like to invent or discover things? Do you provide solutions to current problems? What about you, my friend? We have talked a little bit about God and his mind, how he works, how he thinks, how creative he is. We talk about the importance of when he creates he knows that things will need to be maintained, repaired, upgraded. We talk about how an idea has to have a function with attributes and all that has to grow and it has many components. We discussed that the Lord produces life with harmony, equilibrium and growth. All that wrapped in love. That tells you that the Lord God Almighty our Father keeps Himself busy all the time, creating, creating and developing, creating and developing, creating and developing, creating and developing, and everything keeps growing and moving and moving and growing. You know what? People that operate that way are going to prosper. People that operate that way are going to continue growing in life. People that are able and willing to take one idea and work with that idea. What is the function? What are the attributes? How this can be developed? What could be the components? People that are taking their time thinking of all that. People like that 
are those who provide great things for the world today. It's the mind of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you generate ideas, my friend? Do you like to think? Or you just feel exhausted of thinking. You say, ah, it's just thinking is so exhausting. That could be a problem, you know. Because here is the mind of the Lord God that I just described to you. One attribute is his creativity. So busy, to, so into creating and developing things. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Here is the Lord. And here is someone that do not generate ideas because do not like to think. To think. Refuses to think. I don't know if you see the problem here, but here's the Lord God Almighty in so much abundance, prosperity, light, love, creating and producing because he keeps thinking and developing and creating. And here is an individual that doesn't generate ideas because doesn't like to think. That's a problem, friends. And we, until we see how wonderful the Lord is and how creative He is, and then we will start to think, okay, I, I want something. I want part of what the Lord has. That's why I am asking, do you like to create or make things? Because if you understand, the first step is to think, right? Well, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I want to I do something. I want to generate an idea. That's the first, the first step, right? The, the wish, the desire of thinking, of creating, coming up with something. But then you put your hands to work. There is no one idea that will come up without your hands moving, without your feet moving. Thinking is great, but you have to do something with the ideas. You just cannot just think about it. You have to use the tools that I described. Diagrams, flowcharts, tests. You need to put your hands to work. Do something with your hands. Would you like to invent or discover things? How wonderful it would be. I am hoping that somebody here in my church or several of my people will say one day, Gian, I have this idea and I have this patent and I'm, I'm going after this product, after this service. I'm starting this, I'm doing that. I'm, I'm creating or modifying this thing. Well, I will be looking at this person saying, praise the Lord. That's what I wanted to hear. And if you feel that you cannot provide and come up with anything new, at least do you provide solutions to current problems? Yeah. Because let's face it, not everybody was born to sing, you know? So not everybody is going to be an inventor or a creator of things. It's okay, but at least you need to provide solutions to current problems. Because here the Lord God created. His mind is amazing. You see that? He's amazing. He is amazing. You have to see how amazing He is. And He wants to give you that. And, you see, and He will. But you say, but, but, I, but I don't think I am built to be a creator. You can say, you know, probably creativity is not one of my things. It is possible. It's possible, but at least you can provide solutions to current problems. Because if the Lord is here, way creative and producing and providing so many wonderful things. And here is an individual that doesn't like to think, doesn't like to put his hands to work, to do something, to provide solutions to current problems. We have a problem then. 
then we have a problem. Because we have from uh, on one side, we have the, God, the Lord God Almighty, so amazing, trying to minister to bless people. And here is someone that refuses to even think or, or desire anything. The, the Lord has an amazing, extraordinary mind. My friend, do not waste your mind and time. Do not waste your mind and time. Do something productive with your life. You have to find something where you are going to be productive with your life. Your mind is so amazing too. You have a potential to do many wonderful things for God, for the kingdom, for, for the community. Do, do not waste your mind, please. Do not waste your time. It is okay to have a day off. It is okay to rest. It is okay to entertain yourself. What do you like to watch on TV? You like to watch certain shows, cowboy shows, or <laughs> right, sick, or comedians, or movies, cooking shows, whatever it is what you like. To find for entertainment, it's okay, friends. It's okay. This is not. This is. This message is not about not having fun. Okay. It's okay to have fun, entertain yourself, but do not waste your mind and your time. Do something productive with your life. You have to see the greatness of the Lord God and His willingness to share with you. Take advantage of that. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. It says, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no one's heart has imagined all the things that God has prepared for those who love Him. Amen. What He has for us that we are about to see in the future, in the near future, Short-term, long-term, and eternity. <laughs> you will not believe it. And you know, as soon as you are finding out what's the new thing the Lord is doing in your life, and you are like, wow, Lord, that's amazing. You are just saying amazing when there's a new thing that He's showing you. Like, wow, that is even better. Oh my, oh. and it's going to be like that. That's the mind of the Lord, creative mind, amazing, sharing, giving. Being God, he could be just thinking of himself, you know. But no, he's thinking of how, how he can bless everybody. Do you know that the Lord God is the king of the universe? Yeah. But perhaps my friend watching... You don't know that he is a king, that he is the king of the universe. Would you like to become a child of God? There is one scripture on, on the screen that I would like you to see. Romans chapter 10, verse 9. If you openly say, Jesus is my Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from death, you will be saved. It's the only requirement to become a child of God. And I hope that you will give your heart to the good Lord today. Today is a good day to experience salvation. Today is a good day to surrender. So I would like to invite you to say a prayer with me, to connect with God, to give your heart to the Lord God. And the prayer is just here on the screen. Say it with me. Dear God, I open my heart to you, Lord. I confess my sins before you. I am so sorry. 
I need you, Lord. I need to change. I want to obey you and trust you and serve you, Lord, forever, my Lord. Starting today, I want to see life and people exactly as you do. Please help me, Lord. My dear friends, it's precisely on the cross where the Lord Jesus gave his life. It's exactly there where everything began for us. Would you like to say with me? I am forgiven and saved by faith in Jesus. Therefore, I can also declare my life is going to be great and blessed this year 2020. Friends, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You have a wonderful weekend. Woohoo! Anytime a heart turns from darkness to light, anytime temptation comes and someone stands to fight, anytime somebody lives to serve and not be served, I know, I know, I know, I know. for watching Victory Church, please feel free to contact us. Our email address is info at vchurch.us and our phone number is 432-614-9798.